The JetBlue Plus card is currently offering a elevated sign-up bonus of 80,000 points after spending $1,000 within the first three months. And normally this offer is typically seen at about 50,000 points. We have a lot to talk about this video. We're gonna go through everything this card has to offer. But if you're new here, make sure you like and consider subscribing if you like credit card content like this. So this card is offered through Barclays, which is a UK-based bank. And if you've never had a credit card with them before, getting verified for that first new credit card can be a little bit invasive sometimes. They may ask for things such as sending in a copy of uh, you know, your passport, faxing it in, for example. I think compared to other credit card ecosystems, Barclays is very underrated. A lot of the cards have low minimum spend for quite a few points. And they're mostly co-branded hotel and airline cards, but you can get a lot of points for you know up to $1,000 in spend after three months. And if you compare that to Chase, usually Chase requires three to 4,000 uh, after three months of spend. Or if you compare it to Amex, Amex is anywhere from five to $15,000 of spend after you know three to six months. So this is a very low minimum spend issuer. Now this card does have an annual fee of $99 and it's not waived for the first year. This sort of mixes a mid-tier airline credit card. Jumping into the spend multipliers, this card offers 6x points per dollar spent on JetBlue purchases. This is pretty decent. Many airline cards similar to this one only offers 2x back, such as the American Airlines co-branded credit cards. You get 2x points per dollar spent on restaurants and groceries, 1x per dollar spent on all other purchases. Before we get into the benefits, let's quickly go through where JetBlue flies to. It's mostly a domestic airline, so many US states, a heavy presence in the Caribbean, and a few cities in Canada and South America. It does offer nonstop flights between the US and a few major European cities, usually Western Europe. So usually the capitals of that country. So nonstop direct flights from the US to Paris, London, Dublin, and Amsterdam, but no other cities within those countries. JetBlue also has a partnership with Hawaiian Airlines, so direct flights to Hawaii. And they also partner with Qatar Airways, which allows you to fly from the US to Qatar direct. And this partnership allows you to use JetBlue points to book international flights. However, many of them have layovers. It's probably best to use a different airline for this. All right, next, let's get into the card benefits and there's quite a few to go through. You get a free check bag as a card holder and up to three companions when you're booked on a JetBlue operated flight. Next, you get 5,000 bonus points on your account anniversary. And this already negates half of your annual fee of $99 because 5,000 points is worth a minimum of $50. You also get 10% of your points back every time you use your points for a redemption. So this is great if you have a lot of JetBlue points and you're using it toward a award flight. There's no foreign transaction fees, which is great for traveling abroad. You're not gonna be hit with up to a 3% foreign transaction fee every single time you use your credit card in uh, Europe or Asia, for example. Now there is an annual statement credit for up to $100 if you purchase a getaways vacation package with your card. And what that is, is a combination of flights, hotels with breakfast, transportations, and other attractions included in a JetBlue booking. Next benefit is you get 50% savings on eligible in-flight purchases. So this includes cocktails, food, and movies. This is huge because most other credit cards like this only offer 25%. So 50% is quite a lot. You can enjoy Mosaic benefits after you spend $50,000 within one year on this card. And what that is, is it's the airline's status. There's a whole bunch of benefits. I'm gonna list them on the screen now if you wanna just pause the video and take a look at it. I'm not gonna go through every single one. There's quite a few of them, but I don't think it makes sense for most people to spend $50,000 on this credit card just to get this benefit. JetBlue points are worth about 1.5 cents per point according to the points guy, which means the current signup offer of 80,000 points is worth at a minimum of $800 and upwards of $1,200. To me, JetBlue points aren't worth a lot and there's not a lot you can do with them. It's not very flexible. I would mostly use it just for economy flights. So for example, this past year, I used 6,000 JetBlue points. If you do the math on that, the signup offer would allow me to fly between Boston about 13 times. The biggest disappointment for this card is that it doesn't allow for priority boarding or preferred boarding. So you can't get onto a flight earlier using a credit card such as other airline credit cards. Overall, I think that this card gives you a lot of value. And if you fly JetBlue a few times a year, it's well worth the annual fee to keep long-term as well. And the bang for your buck in terms of the sign-up offer and what you have to spend is amazing. You won't get any other credit cards like this. $1,000 within three months is not a lot of spend for 80,000 points, so it's great. What are your thoughts on this card? Are you planning to get it? Comment below and I'll see everyone in the next video.